you with everything that you have going on, how important is it for you to balance work and life? As a young person in the industry, and I believe I need a lot of support. Mm -hmm. um, my support comes mainly from my background, my childhood, in terms of my spirituality. I was brought up in the Seventh-day Adventist Church, I'm not a practicing one right now. You weren't raised in Kingston? No, I was not. I'm from, actually from Montego Bay. Oh, really? <laughs> a lot of people think I was yeah, raised in Kingston. Especially with all the jobs that you've had here. Yeah, and that's what is so amazing to me. But in terms of balance, I have my friends, my family, my personal life. Um, most of the times, I, I really show everything on social media. I don't mm -hmm. mind. My right. life is an open book. But I take my time off. I'm also an ambassador for Adam and Eve Day Spa. So I go there, get my massage, my scrubs, my Great. facials. You know, I have to ensure that in terms of my decorum, I'm well put together. And I really love that kind of relaxation. So I know you've had a very diverse career so far. What has been your favorite high? Well, that's a hard one because there are quite a few for different yeah. reasons. Not just what is seen in the public's yeah, eye, but some personal satisfactions. Um, well, so when I was at RJR Communications Group, which was my first major job in Kingston, I was managing the Hollywood World of Championship in, in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So I took a lot of young emerging talent from Jamaica to Hollywood, got sponsorship for them, and so a lot of them became very successful as emerging talent. Once they got into Hollywood, they got agents taking them up. So that was really a personal satisfaction for right. me. Another major one would have been for SPF Weekend. I started working with SPF Weekend maybe three or four years ago, and I was actually the first sponsorship manager to garner over 13 million for oh, wow. the event. So that was huge for me and I think from there I catapulted to where I am today. What would you say would be your advice to young entrepreneurs who want to start out, even in this industry, media and PR? Two things. Well, actually three. <laughs> One, have a vision. Focus on your vision every day. A lot of people think it's just thinking about something, but you have to have a, your vision board. Mm -hmm. Have an actual physical board where you write all your goals, all your dreams. You have pictures of that ring you want or that house you want and zooming and, and get yourself into that space of achieving it already right. and act as if you've achieved it. You know, they say fake it until you make it, it actually works. <laughs> yes. And also I would say look at different persons in the industry who have made it and emulate a lot of what they have done. Right. Because once you have that example to live by, then it's a little bit easier for you coming up and be humble. It's important to be humble and to, whilst you're looking at persons who you're emulating, be humble and be able to yeah. listen to them. That's important. And the third advice I'd give to upcoming entrepreneurs would be to never give up. Be persistent and consistent in everything that you're doing. Case in point, years ago, I had a project where I had to do some PR for a client. But at that point, nobody knew me in the industry like that. Um, wasn't popular anything at all. And I tried to get through to Brian Bonita at the Observer. Sent him emails, called, he's always in a meeting. I called him for a month straight. Oh, wow. No response. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's funny. No response. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go over to the Observer myself, meet the man, and talk to him about the project and convince him that he needs to yeah, give me an air. I think it was last week I said, you know, Brian, you were the person that gave me that in. And he said, you know, when I saw you, I saw that you were ready for the opportunity and it meant a lot. Oh, so wow. persistence is Congratulations key. on Thank that. Thank you. I want to backtrack a little bit. Um, I know you, were, you said you were raised in Mobay. What is it like? What is Mobay life like? You know what? I was very sheltered. My dad who is who has passed now he I was the only child mm -hmm. and so he did not necessarily want me to have a lot of friends or be out in the mm -hmm. public's eye so I went to Mount Alvernia High Prefect um, 
student council for many years, but it was always about school and home. And that's basically it for me. From Montego Bay, I, I didn't get to explore much. <laughs> um, it was school and home and church, of course. I was in the church, I was on the choir, I was in the <laughs> Pathfinders, I was a master guide. How did you transition to Kingston and what jobs have you had since you've been here? Let's not talk about the actual year. <laughs> <laughs> but I, yeah, about nine, eight years ago. Um, and from Montego Bay, I went to NCU, mm -hmm. straight from high school into college. And I got married, had a child. To be honest with you, the marriage wasn't working out. And I, I, I envisioned leaving, but there had to be something I was going to. And one day I picked up the Sun Laguna, and a lot of people don't believe this is how it happened because it seems as if I had a friend somewhere, but nothing like that. No, kind I of saw, network in there. No, I saw an ad in the paper for RGR, for marketing. And I applied and I was called in for an interview and I got the job. Came and to Kingston and that's the, the beginning the of the journey, history. yes, as to where I am today. What one word would you use to describe yourself? One word can be. Right, give me one limited. sentence. <laughs> I would say I'm extremely goal oriented, ambitious, aggressive, and persistent, and I must wow. get what I want. <laughs> A friend of mine said that I'm the only person he knows who feels as if they're entitled. You know, like when you go to a parking <laughs> lot and you want, you need to park in the VIP even though you don't have a sticker. No, I <laughs> believe you. I need to be there. So that, that would be me. I'm very caring, very passionate, very I, friendly. I think I'd have to agree with that, even in my the short, short space, space of time that I've known you. Even when I met you initially, I didn't see you as, as being this aggressive. Not I mean, in business, of course. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's interesting. It's been very interesting. Are there any future plans that you have for yourself? What's next? Because you've accomplished so much already. Well, it's funny you say that and I don't feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> I have these um, different times when I lock away because I don't feel I've achieved enough. Oh wow! But no, that. it's it's very it's <laughs> it's very revealing and sometimes very humbling because no matter what you do in life and how much you think you've achieved, there has to be that place of getting back down right. where you can regroup and achieve more because right. people who are comfortable don't achieve anything you have to be unsettled you have to be uncomfortable right. in your space right. to achieve more i'm looking at starting my own company having a team teaching people what i know and building a proper legacy for my child and the kids to come <laughs> but it has been such a great journey um, where i am today a lot has to do with people have known. For example, Novia. A lot of people look at her, Novia McDonald White, as sometimes hard to talk to or <laughs> not approachable, but I was having a conversation with her on Saturday and she was saying to me, Corte, you do everything from your heart. But it's true, that's really who I am. Everything that I do is from here. I've never taken on a project because of money or the lack thereof. It has to be that I believe and I have a passion, genuinely interested, genuinely interested yeah. and it has to be different, it has to be touching somebody, somebody's life. And that's how I, that's what I use as a guiding principle for what I do. Well, Cortia, thank you so much for sharing from uh, your, well, one of your many chill yeah. spots for today, but I'm really excited about shopping. Me too. So let's go. everything right. because it's the first thing the outfit the smile the face is what you see when you meet someone mm -hmm. 